look good the way his head snapped back on that replay. Toss to the end zone. Touchdown early to set. He beat Johnson. Good job by Flynn to find single coverage. And now LSU in total control. Exactly what State did not need. And to walk off. Harrell fires. And it's caught for a touchdown by Brandon LaFell. They had single coverage down there. And the backup quarterback for the Tigers throws a touchdown pass of 15 yards. You know, going into this, you didn't expect Mississippi State to win the game. Field position is crucial tonight. Flynn. Shovel pass to the inside. Hester breaks free. Headed for the end zone. Who stopped just short of it. What a good-looking play. And Jacob Hester, the senior from Shreveport, pounds into the five-yard line. That's a 28-yard gain. Folks, they're attacking the middle of this who's going to be there for them, right or wrong, good or bad. They are the team that people are pulling for. Sean Glennon said, hey, the tragedy, people looking for us for healing. We know it's going to be there all season. Right now, they've got to stop this offense, Lisa, as Brandon LaFell, number one, gets open running a post. And Flynn, the senior from Tyler, Texas, he's in there on third down. He's going to run this one. Touchdown, LSU! Two series, two touchdowns. 92,000, minus the Virginia Tech fans celebrate. Keela Williams and Sean Jordan. There is the pistol. Those are plays for the University of Nevada. The quarterback in a short punt, and look at him break the pistol wide. He's got breakout speed now. Touchdown, Keelan Williams, 67 yards. They fired a six-shooter that time. You pay special. Going for 214 yards, Parallel checks back in. And fake the run, you're going to throw middle deep. Wide open, touchdown to set. How about that? Perilou took a couple of steps over to the right. The Hokies bit, and early to set win end zone. And they were mad at me because they said, oh, you didn't make it sound like fun. Yeah, it would be fun, I guess, if I were drunk like they were. But <laughs> I was a little hot. I was hot. It was muggy. Perilou fires a touchdown. That's 20. Here's the handoff. They come right. It's holiday. Oh, it's Christmas now. Two is on to try his second of the day from 32. Cole David now six of seven for the year with a long of 35. Matt Flynn will hold. And it's a fake. They give it to David, and he heads for the corner. Touchdown, LSU! How about the flip from Matt Flynn? Well, it sure explains the third down call, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Because, obviously, that was the game plan all along, that if they didn't make it, they were going for the fail. Oh, that's a... <laughs> Holy cow! Six sacks for this two-lane defense. So now third and eight. Flynn gets an easy first down. Demetrius Bird left alone. Turns on the Jets. And is knocked out of bounds at the three-yard line. See that sure tackle right there. Another huge try for three to get it a one-possession score. Right hash mark, Cole David, who is 8 of 11 for the year. From the 41-yard, it's a fake, and Flynn picks it up. How about that? Another one. The key play in the win over South Carolina was a flip from Matt Flynn to Colt David, and they run the fake, and Flynn picks it up. Flynn back at quarterback.
second and goal. Little cross, left side, Keenan Williams strolls in for the touchdown. If we get seven, we're very much in. And all an unbalanced line did LSU and Monroe. Tony and goal with time winding down Mark Bradford touchdown extra point good a team that was 1 and 11 a year ago Jim Harbaugh's club wins over number 2 USC shake it up shake it up again Vern all right Tim that is astounding news and while we were away the score was announced here watch and listen to the reaction This is in reaction, part of it, to the announcement on the public address and on the sidelines, this LSU bunch went for surf. <laughs> and so did he. Or she. Or we're having another Richter moment here, aren't we? Oh, we're an earthquake my. somewhere? Look, decibel levels you got. Donald Trump. And then they announced, and look at that thing go up, up into the hundreds when they announced it. You know what? Just shows you it's a national game in October. And the kick. Brandon James gathers it in at the 8. And taken down at the 24. Well, let's go down to Tracy on the sideline. Trace? Guys, how loud can this place get? Well, there's no decibel reading. But in 1988, and it comes from behind win over Auburn, 80,000 fans jumping up and down actually caused an earthquake, a 3.5 on the Richter scale. Many refer to that day as the day the Tigers moved the earth. Guys, there's over 92,000 today, so brace yourself. Back slot, five yards back to Drew Miller. Tebow. Down in the air, intercepted. Tebow picked off for only the third time this year. Kirsten Pittman. Allie Highsmith made the play in the secondary that time, trying to get the points on the board. Second floor to turnover of the night. There's the reverse. Left side, Trinden Holiday inside the 15 out of bounds at the 11. First down without the touchdown. It's fourth down. Flynn from the spread. Hester alongside to the left. Florida brings four. Flynn dances right. Pulls up. Got a man in the end zone. It's a touchdown to Demetrius Bird. He has replaced hit at right guard. That's Keith Zinger, number 89. Same matchup, linebacker versus Dixon. Glenn, handoff, Hester. To oh. the 20. To the 15. LSU, first down. Les Miles has gambled all game. Is he going to do it again? How about this? As my friend Bill Raftery would say, onions. Fourth for four on fourth down tonight. Paralu, the quarterback. Hester, second effort. I think he got it. <laughs> it's so close. There's just no backup in this football game. This is one of the best football games I've seen in a long time. Both sides laying it on the line. Coaches laying it on the line. Guys making hits. What a play from the backfield that time. First down. Woo. Remember. Tiger Stadium on a Saturday night in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. A very special place in college football. Never more so than tonight. 1.14 to go, 24-21, LSU third and goal. Late time out there cost Florida 29 seconds. Here's Flynn, backs in the eye, Hester the deep back. 
Brings to the formation to the right side. They give it to Hester. He pulls his way for a touchdown. playing the ultimate center field position. Tebow heaves it deep. It's going to be a jump ball into the end zone. Tigers win. up there right now. That's the matchup Kentucky likes. Deep handoff. Charles Scott, watch out. Stiff arm. Foot race. Almost caught from behind and forced out of bounds just outside the end zone. Is the running back. Tolliver in the slot to the left. They toss it. Scott comes right. Will breaks the tackle. Touchdown LSU. Tight right. This is Zinger. Now comes back to the right side. They pitch it out. Left side. Murphy strolls in untouched. LSU an extra point away from the tie in overtime. Third and goal. Lions in the slot to the left. Coming after him here. Burton is the wide receiver left. And Johnson bottom of the screen. Woodson pumps once, hit from behind in the end zone. Diving catch, all alone. Steve Johnson. And so your best running back is out. You've got Charles Scott as a tailback. You were five for five on fourth downs conversions last week in the win over Florida. It's fourth and two now. You've got to get two yards. Flynn, Scott, I don't know, I don't think so, no way, Kentucky wins, straight back, wants a screen, gets it out to Williams. Keenan Williams, 20, 10, touchdown! Set wants the bomb. Bird. 15 down to the nine yard line. Tackled by Powers. A perfect throw. 58 yards. In the third quarter, 183 to 48 yards, but only six points to show for it. Inside handoff to Holiday. The speedster around the corner. Breaks a tackle. He, his knee didn't touch. That's a touchdown. That's a wonderful effort by J Jacob Hester. So the penalty is either against Auburn and it's a touchdown or against LSU and it comes back. So what is the penalty yeah. call? Yeah, we still haven't heard what the penalty call is yet. 
but it seems like virtually every play that Carol Lou has left the field and Flynn's come back in, they have been late getting the play in, and it's really caused them problems. Well, and first of all, there is no foul on the play. There we go. There were seven men on the line of scrimmage. The result of the play is a touchdown. It's controlled. Oh, my gosh, you're right. They 